Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Uh, today I'm going to do an update on the Endure Survival 10 that I did a review on here just a week or so ago. And uh, I got some great suggestions uh, on things to add to this kit or things to change out. I didn't actually take anything out of this kit. I just added some things to it. Uh, the reason for that is is I wanted to consider this just kind of a a base to start with because there was actually quite a bit of room. I got quite a bit of extra stuff in here. and But I also will uh, show you a few things that I would uh, change out on this uh, on this little kit. So uh, we'll zoom in and we'll get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you is this had electrical tape around the outside. I changed it out and put duct tape on it. Uh, because it is a little easier to get started if you need it for a last resort fire starter. And it seals it up quite a bit better. So we'll just lay that off to the side. Now I have got this thing absolutely jammed full. So I left the, uh, the uh, survival tips in there uh, I left everything in here like I said and just added to it uh, one of the first things was uh, Jason McDaniel suggested uh, some kind of a container for water so I just threw one of these Ziploc bags in here it holds I can't remember exactly but it is not far from a liter or 32 ounces. I'll have to measure that out one day and uh, you know make sure because the water pur purification tablets uh, most of them are good for 32 ounces or one liter uh, same same amount. So and then I throw all of these you know I throw one of these in every one of my kits uh, just as a way to pre-filter your water, it's just a coffee filter. Uh, just to kind of get some of that extra gunk, dirt, or uh, you know any other kind of little particles to keep that out of your water. So it, it you know it's there's no reason not to keep it in there. It folds up tiny. I kept the whistle in there. I would prefer something a little smaller, but a whistle is a whistle. Good signaling device. Candle, tea candle, uh, makes it easier if you can, uh, well, I'll just go along with that up through a mini Bic in there. You can uh, light the candle to help you get your, uh, get your fire started. It'll, you know, last longer than, you know, you, with a mini Bic, you don't want to just use up all of your uh, fluid in there if you're in a bad situation. Uh, more things, well, I guess I got a couple more fire things in here. Uh, I guess I should say I did take one thing out. There was two cotton balls in here. I took those out. They took up a lot of space. And there are smaller, uh, more, I guess not more reliable, but they're smaller and they work just as well, tender sources. And that is, if I can get a hold of them. These, I've got two little tinder quicks, so I replaced the two cotton balls with two tinder quicks. Uh, the wire saw, wire saw, once again, I'm not a big fan of wire saws, but if you use them right, they will do the job. That's all I'm going to say about that. Got the little button compass in there. Got the snare wire in there, and I'll say why I bothered to leave that in there because I don't, like I've said before, I'm not very fond of it for use in actually trapping. I threw one of my little uh, micro LED SOL flashlights in there, 10 lumens, just to kind of get you, help you navigate in the dark if you need to. Uh, the safety pins. Now, the top of this lid says there's a sewing kit in here, and I have yet to find a needle. So, uh, the safety pins, I don't know if that's, that's not even what's supposed to be the sewing kit, because it also lists the safety pins. So, need to throw a needle in there. 
Kept the same little ferro rod, but I did cut off the lanyard because that uh, little piece of plastic at the end was taking up a lot of room. There was just no reason for it. Uh, the reason I cut it down to the size that I did is because you can put three fingers in it and it helps you hold on to it better. I guess I would use that for my left hand because I'm right-handed. I would strike with the right hand. Uh, it also may be a good idea to throw a little better striker in here for that ferro rod. This little knife will do it, but not very well. So uh, that might be something you, uh, you would want to add to this kit. Personally, I would throw in one of my Elk Ridge Fire Starters. Uh, they come in a three pack, so you know I've got plenty of them. Uh, the actual ferro rod on those Elk Ridge is the same size as this whole thing of uh, this uh, ferro rod. So, and then it has just a little short piece at the top to hold on to. Uh, I would much rather, I would prefer more ferro rod, less handle, but that's just me. Uh, but anyhow, this little knife, you've already seen that. Uh, the one thing that I would change out on this is I've been EDCing this little SEH 107. Uh, for me personally, I would rather have a more functional knife, uh, something that you can get a good hold of, rather than having a little multi-tool style knife with scissors and a file. That's just my preference, though. Uh, I to me, there's nothing, nothing on here except for the file that I can't do with this. A pair of scissors, I can use my knife to cut uh, instead of scissors. So, But that's just a personal choice for me. Um, I added my little straw. I just robbed this out of my Altoids tin. A uh, little straw that I have two earplugs in. Uh, they make a good addition to a fishing kit. They work for, you know, they'll work as a bobber. And, uh, you know, also, you know, sometimes you're in a survival situation, it's really hard to sleep, and, uh, you know, every little noise that you hear will wake you up, so, uh, you know, it never hurts to have a couple of foam earplugs with you. Uh, I also robbed this out of my Altoids tin just for the sake of doing this video. Uh, I actually might use this, replace my Altoids tin with this just because it has more room. But anyhow, uh, there's just, there's like, I can't remember for sure, like five feet total of uh, uh, duct tape on here. There's two separate rolls of it. It's the three quarter inch wide duct tape. Uh, here's the little fishing kit that originally came with it. It has uh, four split shot sinkers, four hooks, four swivels, and a little, you know, a little hank of... Uh, Fishing line like a 10 or 20, 10 or 12 pound test. Uh, the little pencil to write down your last words with. And a couple of alcohol swabs. The main reason I put these in here is another fire starting capability. Uh, if you wanted to, you could remove some of these things like the wire saw. And you could probably throw... You know, it, that that alone would give you enough room to throw like a gauze pad and a small roll of uh, like cloth tape uh, in this kit. Get rid of this and get rid of the giant whistle and you'd have plenty of room to add some, you know, a small, you know, cut and scratch kit or boo-boo kit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I also added this little roll. I have a ton of these. My mother used to work at a... Uh, a place called DeLong's or DeLong Sportswear. I don't know if they're even open anymore. The place where she worked closed down, but uh, I have an absolute ton of these little bobbins with uh, with a 12 pound test monofilament on. So that's why I use them. Plus, it's a great way to carry a lot of cordage in a small package. And then the last thing I put in there is. A one foot by two foot piece of aluminum foil, tin foil, whatever you want to call it. The reason for is another container. You can use this to boil water. And if you watched my how to make a tin foil cup video, uh, that's why I left the snare wire in here because you can use this to make a bale to hang this over a fire so you can boil water. 
there are plenty of other uses for this wire, but uh, that's the main one I was thinking of when I added it to the kit was for making another cup to boil water because you could throw a couple of of a of a brain ain't working. Wow, I'm drawing a blank. The uh, water purification tablets. There we go. Uh, there's there's probably enough room in here if you took out like the safety pins to add a couple of those tabs in there. I don't have any on hand right now, or else I'd show you what I'm talking about. But uh, there it is. That's what I would change out if it were me personally, just for my kit. And that's what this is going to end up being. I would keep the foil. I would keep the snare wire just for the sake of making a. Uh, bail uh, for your tinfoil cup I would keep the alcohol swabs uh, not only for first aid but for starting fire I would keep the coffee filter for pre filtering your water in this little bag I need to roll this little bag up a little tighter like I had it Another thing that I started using, and I should have shown it in this video, but I just had this one. I had my Altoids tin open to uh, rob a couple things out of here for this video to put in this tin. So I grabbed this. Another bag that you can use that is basically free is produce bags from the grocery store. You know, they'll, they'll hold, I'm sure they'll hold over a liter of water and... Uh, you know, they, they fold up really, really small, so that would be a, a good thing to use for a kit like this for a con extra container. Uh, obviously, I'm going to keep my duct tape in there. Uh, I'm going to change out the ferro rod, but for right now, I'll just throw this one back in here. The, my Elk Ridge uh, ferro rod is... Still in the Altoids tin. I should have just brought that out and changed some things. I'm going to keep my little flashlight because it's just a, a convenient thing to have. My little spool of monofilament. Uh, personally, if I get, you know, since this is going to be like a glove box kit, something like that. Personally, I don't see the need for a fishing kit. Uh, if I'm... You know, I, I, I don't know. It's just just my personal opinion. I don't think I need it. Uh, the safety pins, again, something I don't think I really need. I could throw a, a needle in here with my monofilament and, uh, you know, that, that would be my repair kit. So I don't really, I don't see the need for the safety pins, but... You know, if, if it's something you think you like to have in there, you know, go right ahead. Uh, the little compass never hurts. Uh, being being something that I'll probably, you know, might throw in the glove box or whatever, uh, my pickup has a compass, you know, on the, uh, up on the ceiling, you know, where it has the temperature and compass and all that good stuff. But it never hurts to have some redundancy. Throw my little quick tenders or tender quicks in here. Not sure that I would keep the candle. I'll probably throw a couple of those trick birthday candles in here. So I'm going to leave that out for now. Uh, the earplugs floats for fishing if you ever really did have to. But the main thing I would use them for is actual earplugs. So if I'm in a bad situation, I can sleep. Sleep is very important to survival. Uh, so many people talk like it isn't, but it is very important. The other thing I would throw in here, even though I've been EDCing this knife, might actually get a second one just to store in one of these little kits. But, uh, I mean, I always have it with me, but for now, just for the sake of this uh, video, I'm going to throw that in there. That little knife is... It's one of those things where this is better than nothing, but not much. I'm definitely going to throw the mini Beck in there. I'll throw the pencil in there just in case I have to write my last words. And I'm just being comical about that. Just being a wise ass. But, uh, so, as you can see, there's, there's still a little room in here. So, uh, 
if this was your kit, what would you add? You know, there's there's a little bit of room, so uh, I also I'm gonna leave out the whistle because if this were to go in my in my glove box or whatever, I have a horn on my pickup, and the horn works whether the you know unless the battery's dead, then you might want to put one in here, I guess. After I think about it again, but there are such smaller whistles that you could throw in here. I'm going to leave it out for now. Uh, I know County Com has a tiny one. Uh, I think Endure makes a very tiny one. So I'm not sure why they threw this big thing in here. But this whistle takes up a ton of room in this kit. So I'd prefer to find something smaller. So like I said, you know, there's, there's this whole space here. And then there's, you know, a little line through here. The whole width of the kit. The kit is, this tin is just a hair over four inches this way. So, just to kind of give you an idea, I'm not sure the dimension this direction. I, I completely spaced it off. But, uh, you know, tell me what else you would put in there. I really appreciate the feedback. And never hurts to have some extra instructions in there. So... There we go. That's how I would change it out. And I'll put the tape back on there just to keep it from getting a bunch of gunk on it. And I'll be right back. Alright, so hope you like what I changed out about this little kit. I got it all put back together and uh, got the duct tape put back on it. But uh, I don't know. Like I said, it's it's a good, a good start. And, uh, you know, you can change out quite a few things. There's a lot more room in here than there is in a Altoids tin. So, uh, you know, this will probably be something, like I said before, probably something I'll throw in the glove box. Uh, that Walmart survival kit I'm going to put in my in my wife's car because there's you can put a lot more stuff in that and she's less capable uh, when it comes to survival being in a bad situation than I am so uh, this one will work just fine for me and when I change it out for uh, you know to make it more personal for me so uh, today's shout out goes to Jeremy Woodward and uh, I'm fairly new to watching this channel but uh, I, it's uh, he's a great guy uh, his wife goes out with him a lot and uh, she responds to a lot of comments and uh, they're they're just excellent people uh, great with the community and all that they uh, you know they they go out to the woods for I think every one of their videos is uh, is out out in the woods so uh, I really like that I appreciate that I love pe seeing people get out more often and uh, you know, just, uh, yeah, just a good channel to watch. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of videos up, and he doesn't have a lot of subscribers. He's just getting started. Uh, he could really use your support, and uh, so go check that out. Uh, like always, I'll leave a link up here in an annotation and also down in the description box. So go check that out. Jeremy Woodward, great guy, great channel, and uh, I can't wait to see more from him. So... That's it for today, guys. Uh, please go check out that Amazon store and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, share, share, and share some more. And I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.